Watch your step. Hey. Hey, party. What's up? <laughs> Floor, and then we built like a frame out of wood and put insulation in the middle. Okay. So the problem is, is that you want me to drive this, uh -huh. and I've never driven something this big. Yeah, it's not. Should I be worried? Uh, you'll get used to it pretty quickly. Okay. Like I'm used to driving Miatas. I've got yeah, Miatas. I'm used to driving like Mustangs and 240s. Exactly. So. A little bigger. <sighs> okay. Yeah. I never thought I'd be in this position in my life. It doesn't, so, like, it doesn't seem like you're driving a bus. No. It's, it, you'll see. You let the, the globe plugs, you like turn it on ignition. Okay. Oh, now what? Feet, and then so wait until that, well, oh, okay. It's already gone, you so you can start it now. Okay. <laughs> oh, <sorry>. Oh. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> your phone was I was the heel towing, yeah, oh, I was yeah. like this. <laughs> All right, that's a good way to start a bus. No! <laughs> Going around a corner, you okay. have to take it really wide. Really wide. Um, Just give me some guidance in the back. Yeah, well, you'll see in the, the bottom part of the mirror, you'll look at the trailer. Okay. And if you don't go wide enough, that'll just tip the curve. Good. We are good. All right. And you might want to turn the lights on. Pull that thing. Nope. Oh, the wipers. <laughs> right there. You turned Pull on that. the window Yes. Who am I? <laughs> I'm driving a bus. I know we barely covered it with your Miata yesterday, but yeah. So what what gave you guys the idea of doing a bus? Well, I wanted a tow rig that I could sleep in. Okay. So I can go to like uh, events and stuff and not have to pay for a hotel. Right. And I didn't want to buy an RV because those are expensive. So. Yeah, a lot more. And you got this for like six grand. Yeah, six grand with ninety thousand miles. Uh, yeah. And it's, it's more fun too, building it. Oh so. yeah, I mean, it's more fun and it, you can make it your own no matter what. Mm -hmm. um, RVs tend to have, you know, the things already kind of built in. Yep. And this is, literally, you can make, put anything back there. It's right also here. weird to me is the fact there's nothing right here. Yeah. Well, there's no center console, there's no other seat. Normally, if you look right there, there's okay. a big control panel that goes here, but none of okay. it worked. So they pretty much just cut the wires to decommission it. Oh, the bus. okay. So I, I put it over in that corner because it was ugly and it didn't do anything. Sweet. <laughs> I made it, I'm making it out of the parking lot. We're okay. <laughs> and you'll notice that especially when going up hills, you have to be generous on the throttle. Also, the store is open. Sweet. So you've only had it like what, two weeks or something? Yeah, two or three weeks. What I love is uh, you and your lady have a very cool idea for doing this and yeah. Uh, how there's already carpet, you insulated the floor. The futon is a nice touch already. Yeah, we'll put a more permanent bed in there eventually. Probably. Dude, I wish I had this to take me to school every day. Yeah, right. That would have been awesome. Instead of riding in the bus, to drive the bus. Back to sleep. Yeah, this is officially the biggest vehicle I've ever driven. And the first time, I think, driving with a trailer, to be honest. Yeah. Not to give you, you know. <laughs> no, I mean, it was my first time before we left. Like oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, it's wow. Not, you'll get used to it really quickly. Oh, yeah. You want to tell what happened yesterday? Getting your car back on the trailer? Oh, yeah. When we were getting the car back on the trailer, the ramps fell out. So we had to literally lift the Miata onto the back. It was uh, only cinder blocks under each tire. It's, uh, like Construction workers or landscapers saw it happen. They're like, okay, these skinny kids can't do this. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Yeah, they, they did it in like two seconds. So basically, this is like the same... Dash and interior is like a transit van, right? Yeah, it's basically just, the same. It's literally, just an e equine van. Whatever. Okay, so you drove 17 hours in this thing? Yeah, well, it took us 17 hours to get here. It wasn't 17 hours of driving. Got it. But I mean, I never have lived with an RV or anything like that. So to me, it's always like, oh, I gotta find a hotel. I gotta make plans. I gotta do all of that. Yeah. But with this, it's like you know what? We feel like stopping. You can just stop. Yeah, you just drive till you get tired. Is it exhausting on the highway? Yeah, it is. It's pretty tiring. Because of uh, you just had a lot to think about, probably. Yeah, and the alignment's a little off, so it kind of like <laughs> wants to sway around. And stuff. Okay. The suspension's actually pretty stiff. Like, there's not as much body roll as you think there is. No, no. I I thought this thing was gonna be like kind. Of, not super difficult to drive, but you know, rolling around like this a lot. Right. And right. it's not. No, it's, it's not bad at all. It feels like just driving a big, like, almost like minivan. Yep. It was funny, earlier we passed a school bus and I had to double check if it was you or not. <laughs> I was like, never in my life did I have to be like, is my friend driving a school bus? 
You've already done events in this, or are you gonna go do? Um... No, I haven't done any events. Okay, but anything. you're gonna go do the uh, rally cross, yep. right? Where's that? Uh, it's like an hour away from my house. Okay, so. that's not too bad. Yeah. But now you have this sleep anywhere. Yep. Another thing too is you know how like you know buses don't have seat belts anyway, so you guys really aren't breaking any laws. Well, technically this one used to have seat belts. Oh, did it? Oh, the, yeah, because the, the shorter yeah, ones the shorter did. Bus. That's <laughs> right. That's why we're going to title it as an RV. Uh, so okay. So it's not technically So illegal. what else is uh, needed to make it an RV, like, to the DMV, if so that makes sense? So the DMV, you have to get it, like, inspected. In order for it to pass inspection, you have to paint it a different color. Okay. So it can't be yellow, which is kind of sad. Yeah. You have to add a refrigerator, a external power source that's not the truck battery. Okay. Uh, Heat and AC, um, a bathroom. Oh, you you have to have a bathroom. So there's there's six requirements, and you can choose four of the six requirements. Got it. So okay. I'm not gonna have a bathroom, but I'm gonna have a refrigerator, external power source, heat, and uh, I don't know what else. See all there's that like stuff you more. can do pretty simply. Yeah, that's what we're Generators doing. and uh, right. you know refrigerator, like mini fridges and stuff. Yep. Piece of cake. I mean, you can even put like a cooler that plugs into the. The, the cigarette uh, lighter. Yeah, cigarette right? lighter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you can like yeah. see where the Get in the hang is. of it. Yeah. yeah. I love the bifocal mirror. You know, it the bottom one helps convenient. a lot. Yeah. I think it's the most recognized vehicle ever. It's true. Yeah. I mean, everybody knows what a school bus looks like. I remember, like, as a little kid, you know, if a neighborhood got like a newer school bus, everybody was so jealous. Yeah. Like the bigger windows, the bigger seats, the nicer seats. Mine, mine were always like tearing, like torn up and teared and everything else. I miss my little cars. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get into a little car, you're like, oh my gosh. Oh, it's like night and day, yeah, I'm sure. So well, I remember yesterday um, when I was driving the Rally Miata, and then I was like, hey, let me film your flybys. And your first one, you matted it so hard, your whole car like went horizontal, like in the gravel. And I was like, I think he's used to the bus right now. So what's the plan? Like, what's the layout of the bus you want to do? Um, so we're putting beds in the back. Okay. We're going to put like a couch right here. Put a bit of big flat screen TV over okay. there. Um, there's going to be like a bunk bed back there. Mm -hmm. Some cabinets and like maybe a sink and stuff. Like a couch. Yeah. Like a couch. Already, already said a couch. Oh. <laughs> We want to put like solar panels on the roof and stuff too. To help power it. Yeah. I think that's that's cool. a great idea. I you have the like, surface area for it. Yeah. So. Well, like my goal for this is like an adventure bus where I can like take it off the grid and like camp yeah. for a while. So like going up to uh, Glacier. Yes. yes. Oh my God. This thing at Glacier would be so awesome. Yeah. I'm not Glacier. sure if it would like the mountains. <laughs> but could you imagine driving this on the... Uh, the, what's I can never Rain, remember. I think it's like Rainbow Road. Or Rainbow something. Road or uh, yeah, it's not, definitely not. Oh, it's like Sunny something. I think it's Road to the Sun. Wow. Okay. You know what? We'll figure it out. Have you ever been to Glacier National Park? It's the road I did last year in Adventure Drive. But I cannot remember for the life of me what it was called. But driving this on there would be really scary. Yeah, it would be very scary. Because it's very skinny. Didn't you say that you wanted to like cut the exhaust off to hear the turbo? It's gonna be the spool bus soon. The spool bus. Yep. Well, it's like a diesel, so you don't have to pass emissions or anything. Oh, you're right. So. It's it's weird seeing a classic Ford Transit van with like a brand new Pioneer deck. Yeah. It's really cool though. Have you had um, like any reliability issues yet? No. Good. I'm glad. Yeah. yeah. I don't wish that upon you. Okay. I was just curious for people who might want to do something similar to this. Okay. If there was anything to warn them about. You should bat it. Oh, sick. <laughs> Okay. That was 45. Oh Whoa. my God. It didn't sound too bad. Yeah. I mean, for like a 10,000 pound bus, it's not terrible. I made it to the speed limit. Yeah, you do. You get it up the hill. You definitely have to be mean to it. Anything else you guys would like to add? Okay. <laughs>